and I'm back with another video. This video right here is going to be about chasing women. And I'm not going to make a long video. It's going to be about eight minutes. But I just want to get into a couple of the nuts and bolts of self-esteem. And, you know, I make different videos based on different different moods and feelings and vibes. And I talked about that yesterday, like how like I'm like a filler, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, I got the ability and the capacity to use my logic. I do it every day, but I'm a spiritual guy. So basically like, I don't wanna say too much, but like, um, give you an example of what I'm talking about in this video. So I know a lot of y'all guys want to know how to talk to women and want to get better at just being smooth. Everybody wants to be smooth. You know, that's like the caveat. Like It's like the, the carrot on the stick. Like, you know, everybody want to learn how to talk to women, this and that. But I've been through different phases in my life. And I think that, you know, attraction is a funny thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can kind of tell when a woman's attracted to me, like I'm talking like on the like first, first, first glance, like when like, cause I seen some females earlier, let me go ahead and say it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I be seeing fem like I be hearing people, like new people be moving in my apartments and stuff like that. And I went outside earlier to go to the trash can to do something. like. Less than like an hour ago, actually, like 30 minutes ago. And I seen these two females by a car. And I think they live, you know, in the apartments or whatever. Because I've been hearing people, but I haven't been seeing no faces. But I've been hearing these females, right? So I see this girl who kind of, you know, kind of thick or whatever. And then... Um, like BBW status. And then uh, I glanced over to the girl next to her and she had on booty shorts or something, something like that. And she was kind of thick, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. That's probably the girl who I've been hearing. But I've also been hearing some guys too, you feel me, as if they might be friends or roommates or even boyfriend, girlfriend, right? So, I just looked and they looked back and I just kept walking. I looked and when I looked, they looked at me. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing, fellas. You never know if they're looking because they find you attractive or if they're looking because they're like, who is he? I've never seen him before. Or I'd be feeling like a lot of women looking at like, what is he going to do? Because I felt like they started talking amongst each other. Like I could feel, I can, I can see, I can hear, I can see, I can look, I can sense that they're talking amongst each other. And then the girl with the booty shorts ended up kind of like bending over and laughing. And I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But even though it was like that, I just kept I just kept walking straight. Like I'm like, okay. Cause I was going somewhere. But I'm like, you know, when a female lived that close to you and she looked like good or whatever. Like, I don't talk to a couple females in my apartment built, like, around the neighborhood, you feel me? Like, at least three females, you feel me? And it's like, I did have to approach those women first, you feel me? Like, uh, <clears throat> or I feel like nothing would have never happened. And when I first moved here, it was other females that I felt like was, like, um, looking at me and waiting for me to make a move, and I never made a move. Because, um, like I said, like, life... <clears throat> Life, you be at different phases and different times. And the truth is, you should always approach. This isn't a video telling y'all to not approach. Like, I feel like 
even when you don't feel like it or even when you don't know if they got a boyfriend or whatever, the only way you're going to find out is if you take the lead and you go, oh, what's up, what's your, what's your name, my name Will, da, da, da. and you just talk, even if you don't make a move. But nine times out of ten, if you're watching this channel, you're probably going to make a move. <clears throat> um, But I don't know what it was. I guess maybe because I just kind of like, woke up from a nap and I was just going to, like, I didn't, my mind wasn't, I had something I got to do. I had to use the bathroom. I, my mind wasn't even there. But this video is about never feeling down, like never feel down because you didn't go talk to or chase a woman. Like, and, <clears throat> and I'm going to be honest, when you don't say something to a female on the first time y'all make eye contact or see each other, I think that it can negatively affect the rest of y'all relationship or from that point forward. Because I don't know, man. I feel like even whether win, lose, or draw, when you go up to a female on the first time y'all meet, it's just a different type of chemistry that's built for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. It's like you can't trick the universe, so it's like, even if you don't believe in yourself, but you do the behavior of a person who believes in themselves, you did the right thing. So it's like it's an integral type of thing. <clears throat> so you should feel like, yo, like you should be honest enough to say like, yeah, I like you can't run from that truth. Like I should have said at least like how y'all doing or something. Open up some form of communication because I feel like when a woman when you do that, it, it it shows them that you're not scary whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> there is a such thing as being caught at the wrong time, wrong place, wrong time. But you got to always be prepared, bro. Always be prepared and always be playing. And I heard that from a pimp. He said, always be playing. That means that there ain't no breaks. There ain't no skip days. There ain't no nothing. You can't cheat the game. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So that's going to always kind of make y'all feel like damn like man i'm i'm soft or i'm weak or it's gonna always do that so this is just a talk right here from the fellas to the fellas like i i don't want it's a thin line right you don't want to put too much importance on a stranger one and two on a female two and then two three you just don't want to beat yourself up because it's like how are you the king of the city how are you the that how how can you really and this is probably how females be looking at guys too like how can you really think that you're that guy if you're not going to make me chase you and and fellas just because you approach a woman don't mean you're not going to make her chase you that's true also you could just be curious cuz she did catch my curiosity I I wouldn't be making a video if she didn't catch my curiosity but <clears throat> Did she catch my attention, which is a whole nother category, right? Attention is like a step higher than curiosity. Any female could really catch my curiosity. It just means that I'm curious. Who are you, right? But then it's like attention is like, okay, I'm about to approach you. I'm about to, I'm about to try to see what's up for real, for real. <clears throat> and what I found is like, looks looks get your curiosity but looks don't get no attention you dig what i'm saying it's more to life and so that's why i really wanted to make this video because it's like don't beat yourselves up because you don't approach every woman every day of the week every day of the month every day of the year and then and, and then like i said i feel like she be have, might have a boyfriend you feel me like so it's like i really don't care but it's just the fact that like once you open up that conversation and you be like, yo, like, you look good to me, this and that, then it's like, okay, if she say no, then I don't also, I don't also had a lot of rejections go that way. Like, it's been females even in my um, apartment complex that they they said no. Now, they might have went in the crib and was like, damn, he just tried to talk to me, da 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 But... <clears throat> I mean, it's a, uh, fellas, all of this is like rolling dice. Like, you feel me? Like, you never know because, like, opening up that cannot be a can of worms. It can be a can of worms, and it can't be a can of worms. <clears throat> so, it's like, I said, I believe going after what you want 
I believe in going after what you want. Yes, I do. But never chase because women are capable of choosing. Uh, um, chase, women are capable of chasing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me take an example. When I went to Job Corps, right? Even though that's different because it's like an isolated place where everybody got to kind of figure out who they like. But uh, apartment complexes is kind of like that too. Don't don't ever think these women aren't Mizzy and their boyfriend ain't trash and they don't know how to hit it right. Don't ever think that, fellas. I felt like when them women seen me outside, they was like, who that? You feel me? And it might have even been the BBW who 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 lit that that flame. And then the other friend was like laughing and bending over because it's like, okay, we gotta make him come over here. But we only women, so we can't like cat call this guy. We gotta like do some funny shit. And then make him say, oh, he, they like me. Okay, I'm about, to, I'm about to go on that. So that's how women move. They nev- they're never going to say, yo, cute boy, come talk to us. It's only a few women on earth that's going to move that way, fellas. <clears throat> 98% of these women are going to see what type of man you are off the, off the cuff. Right? From the beginning, the middle to the end. Um, But women are capable of chasing and positioning themselves. So positioning themselves is what they did, in my opinion, because remember, women don't play like how we play. So them positioning themselves is laughter, which I did. I did think I remember some laughter there. Um, Just like being goofy and silly, like and just like bending over like. I mean, I don't see, I'd be seeing women do some real erotic stuff within the first five minutes of conversation. Like, I just do. I'd I be catch like, I'd be catching it, but I don't really, because I'd be like, damn, man, I really gonna go that freaky that fast? Because, like, remember, fellas, like, it'll, it'll play on your mind because if you go to Walmart or, or you go to, like, one of these supermarkets, women ain't gonna do that. They're gonna act all classy and shit. But when you catch a woman in your apartment complex, I feel like in their mind, they like, in their mind, they're like, yo, in their mind, they're like, I already want to smash him because he lives in my apartments. It's like a fantasy. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Um, but they have a way of positioning themselves a certain type of way. That's what they do. They're that type of creature. And it kind of bothers me because especially when you raised by women, you really Get annoyed by that shit. By that indirect ass shit, man. Like you want some attention, but you just don't know how to you don't know how to say it. You just gotta just be like a bitch about it. But that's what you you know, that's what it is, man. And then it's like as men, we can't make complaints about women. We just gotta heal and know like take it or leave it. That's how they move. You feel me? That's how they move, that's how they move. Cause like again. It is what it is. Nature is what nature does, period. And if you don't approach them, you're going to look like you out of nature. So that's why I'm making this video. You got to pick up on those body language and subtle sub communications because it's been a while since I even been paying attention to body language and sub communication. But if I really play that clip back in my mind of those two women, they definitely was laughing and giggling and shit like that. So I got to pay more attention to that. Uh, All right. One more paragraph and then we're gone. I said, if you see something you like and don't make a move, then yeah, you lose. I'm I'm a man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm going to be honest. You do lose, man, because it's again, it's not her fault. It's it's more your fault, but it's, it's not even really your fault necessarily is you're just not that guy you understand what i'm saying you're not that guy yet it's okay it's many millions of women that i've been approaching for the last year and getting rejected after rejected and still talk to the next woman right next to you talk to the okay i got rejected five times i'm still talking to women still moving and that's the attitude that you do gotta have you know what i'm saying it's People, some people call it a numbers game. And like I said, man, like you may have many rejections before you hit that treasure chest. It just is what it is. 
But you do lose when you stop digging the, the shovel, period. So that's what this video is all about. I said, however, do not feel anything because you uh, really, you can really beat yourself up and it's not really serious to begin with. Because like I said, again, it's kind of like a paradox because if you're a king to yourself, which a woman should not mess with a guy who don't feel like a king to himself, then paradoxically, you should not have any fear on this hand. But on this hand, paradoxically, you should also be so egotistical and prideful that you're like, well, you women got to chase me. Now, I can't just make body languages and all this weird stuff. I mean, when I was at Job Corps, I had women flat out chasing me. But I was I was vibrating and moving on a certain frequency of like pure happiness, like pure self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? And ironically, fellas, women really could peep that shit. They really could peep it. And I don't know how or, you know, you'll never really know when until you until you start to notice like, dang, I really got this shit under control. Like, um, cause like I said, women play so many, like they're catty. They play so many, like cat, you know, the cat with the yarn. Like if I would've went up to those two women, they probably would have been on some shit like, um, and then it's two of them. So, you know, friends going to look at each other, like for approval. It's like, it's like, damn, he is, he do look good. But then like, that, I don't know. And then if they got a boyfriend, it's like, okay, well shit. Like, you know, you just got to remember like, that this shit go deeper than the surface. So, like, every rejection is not equal. Every rejection is not equal. One woman rejects you just because they stupid. The next woman rejects you because she not stupid. You understand what I'm saying? And she's like, nah, like, if I flirt with him, my no my nosy-ass BBW friend gonna tell my boyfriend. Oh, whatever the case, bro, you just got to remember, bro, self-esteem is like founded in the journey versus founded in the destination. Like self-esteem is like, OK, like let me I, I, I fell in love with rejection already. So I know I'm not I know I'm not a punk in that area. You do, you did what I'm saying. So what Satan will try to do is put females in front of you in, in a situation where you can't get it as easy or it's not as um, clear cut so that you start to doubt yourself once again. When in all reality, the key is not to um, it's not a yes or a no. Are you scared of women or not? That's not the question. You, you need to drop that question at this point. I'm speaking to myself as like a lot of y'all might be beginners, but that's not the question no more. I should have the the milestone set already. I already reached the mil, mil, milestone, which was to have no fear for a limited amount of days, like just approaching women. And if I get back on that, I'm going to do it again because I'm not, that's not my, that's not my trauma. That's not my fear. I don't got that no more. But if you put two women in a certain position, say I'm in class, I'm in school. And if I get rejected by you, then I got to see you every day. If I'm in the gym, I just learned that the way society moves, bro, you can't just move like on your instinct all of the time. You feel me? It's a time and a place. If you're at a party, go ahead. If you're at, if you're if you're at the gym, don't don't do it. You know what I'm saying? If you're at school, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's then this is this video is a, a a dating consciousness video like don't just let your instincts rule you. You know, you see some booty shorts, you see some ass, you see some some skin tone you like. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's so many women that I like from first glance. And fellas, they're not the same when you get them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you get them. Same with them. Like they, it's just that women are a little bit more cocky than us nowadays. So they be really standing on that. Like, yo, when I first met him, he was this way, but I don't like him no more. They'll stand on it, you know. And the problem is, is that they they shouldn't be standing on it. We should be standing on it, or we both should be standing on it. But if we both stand on it, they're gonna get in their femininity first. But see, <clears throat> again, if you see yourself as a king, bro, then you already won. You can't fake seeing yourself as a king, by the way. So 
for all the naysayers who like, well, you're not a real king. You're not this and you're not that. You're not bigger than this guy. Let them talk. Let them think. Let them feel. Because at the end of the day, you're in your feminine by feeling, thinking, and wondering and assuming that I'm not whatever you're telling me I'm not. I got rent free in your mind. You dig what I'm saying? I'm rent free in their mind. If I walk past those females, you think they don't remember me right now? And if you think they don't remember me, it's because you don't feel rememberable. A king, a king, I don't have to do anything. Now, self-respect. This is why self-respect will always be tied to the way you feel about yourself. I can make video after video and nobody could tell me I'm a king or I'm chosen or. But what all of that, all of that rejection is so good for the for the. Um, the thick skin, isn't it? All of that, all of those people, all those naysayers, all those narcissistic family members you got, aren't they good for something? They're all good for something, man, because what they teach you is that when they die, you're still you're still not dead. You can't die with them. So what was their opinion worth? It was really worth nothing. So like, who are they to tell me I'm not a king? They just dead people who felt like I wasn't a king. I mean, it just doesn't matter. I mean, I, again, this video is to put the importance that you see when you see women and you think that, oh, my God, man, I should have talked to them. They're so special. And I seen ass and I seen booty shorts and shit, man. If only if I would have did this or did that. Listen, bro. It ain't that type of party. That's not how attraction. That's not how self-esteem. That's not how ego. Because I'm talking about the positive version of ego. That's not how it works, bro. It All of this stuff works with self-esteem, which is self-esteem. When I look at her, I'm esteeming her. When I approach her, I'm esteeming her. When I open up my mouth and say, you got some nice eyes, I'm esteeming her. A stranger. See, we're preaching a different type of talk on this channel because that different type of talk is the different type of talk that's that 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 they're not getting enough of. You know what I'm saying? Women are not getting enough of what? The guy they can't get. The guy they they need to have is the one they can't get. And we need to get back on that type of wave, that type of time because real talk, bro, if you leave a person to their vices, they're going to think that there's something they're not. And that and I know this paradoxical because I just said that about us. Like if 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 people leave us to our vices, we'll call ourselves a king and all this great stuff, right? But really, when you think about relationships, it's just a battle of opinions and views. If I approach them, I give them what I want, what they want. But if I don't approach them, I also give them what they want because then he must have been scared or nervous. Let them think whatever they think, bro. And this is for the fellas. Let them think whatever they think. And at the end of the day, like I already fessed up and said, if you see a female you like and you don't approach, you did take the, the L. But that doesn't mean beat yourself up. It does not mean that. L means lesson. It means learn. Learn from the lesson. It does not mean lose. You only lose when you give up. And just because you lost a battle doesn't mean the war is over. So when it comes to dating and attraction, fellas, you must understand that the way you feel about yourself is not connected to a woman. It's not connected to no booty, not connected to no ass, titties, face, eyes, hair, skin. It's not. The only thing is that when they realize that you don't give a damn about them or anybody else, they will submit and they will bring it to you on a platter. And like I said, I'm not done approaching women. I'm approached like probably 20 more than the next week, next couple of days. If I go to Target right now, I approach 20 in a day. But these women are going to be at the crib. They live in they live in apartments. So every woman, again, this is my opinion, like. 
Self-esteem doesn't have anything to do with women. These women are outsiders. Fellas, they're outsiders. And when I feel like approaching you, that's what will go down. That's exactly what's going to happen. See, we get so caught up in what we should have done on that on that time or that 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 first approach or that first time we laid eyes on her. If I don't do it in three seconds, the three second rule, then I'm not the guy. It's like, well, how is your how is you not being the guy so attached to that? You dig what I'm saying? That's why you're not the guy. You dig what I'm saying? You're the guy when you don't attach being the guy to a girl. That's what makes you the guy. Because, bro, you got to remember female history. Let's, let's have a lesson on history real quick. 98% of the women on earth have destroyed every guy that they've dated. And when I say they destroyed the guy, the guy already wasn't really that guy. But what I'm saying is you got to think every relationship these women enter into. I'm going to give you all a little lesson on history and why y'all missing the point. These women attack men from the inside out. They come in and make you insecure, make you fearful that they may cheat on you, make you doubtful. Listen, these women ain't no better. Just because they opposite sex, they're humans, but they're a different creature than us. Like they're different gender. So because they're different gender, the way they play is a little more, bit more dirty. I ain't going to say it's more dirty, but it's just different. So like, listen, these women don't even be liking the guys they dating. So how am I different? I'm different by not giving a fuck about, about her at all. That's the only thing we got in this game, fellas. Our word and our nuts. And you drop both of those when you chase a woman. Because how are you the king if you're chasing? The king may pursue. The king may make a move or a gesture. But outside of that, man, it's just not that serious. And I say all of that to just say that. Like, it's not that serious. If I don't approach you, I didn't approach you. Cool. It is what it is. If You know, the problem with this world, bro, most women are okay with dying, with never getting none, none of that D from you. But a lot of y'all guys, it's to die for. It's to die for. Don't get me wrong. It feels good. It feels good, but that doesn't define. It should not. Okay. Let's go back to the word esteem. Esteem could be kind of swapped out for confidence in a, in a sense. These women take your confidence and your spine out. Like, like the predator versus the alien. Like these women, they know how to position themselves. Like I said, when I've seen, seen Shorty, what the first thing she did, bro? She like, okay, men are visual creatures. I'm going to laugh and, and I'm going to bend over on my friend so he sees my ass. They they snatch your soul with subtle gestures. Name a, name a creature that's colder than... Name a creature or gender that's colder than them. They don't even got to talk to you. They don't even got to know you. They just got to put on booty shorts. And then accidentally run past you. Walk past you. These creatures are hunting y'all from his. This is why I said it's a lesson on history. When guys learn game, when guys learn game, they take shortcuts. Women are masters of manipulation. And I hope you guys know that. Women are master manipulators. They will put themselves in front of you. Uh -uh. They will they will buy things and invest money in lipstick, food. Just they'll they'll invest in anything they could do so that they could live rent free in your mind. 
These women are Satan, Satanists. And, I, and I'm sold on that idea. Not all of y'all, but like a lot of y'all are that just because of y'all women. Just, just because of the gender. Y'all are supposed to tempt guys to be in their in, in their fleshly self. Y'all are supposed to tempt guys to be in their lower form. Y'all are supposed to make us want to argue and y'all supposed to test us. Y'all are supposed to test us. Like, I'm not saying this isn't a video talking crap about women, but I'm just saying, like, why you think she showed that ass off like that? She wanted me to come over there look like a fool. Hey, baby, what's going on, baby? What's your name, girl? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Say all that stuff, and then she like, I got a man. Crushed you. Cr killed you. You know why it killed you? It didn't kill you today. It killed your ancestors uh, all the way up to the lineage up to today. It's the, it's the history behind why they do and what they do to get what result. I want to feel important. I want all the guys to see me as the Jezebel. I want all the guys to see me power. It's all about power. And the biggest mistake is guys don't take that into account with women. They don't they don't think in terms of this is my opponent and she she's her 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 end goal is to have power. It don't matter how good you look. When she realized that she got power, she'll take that over you any day. It, it, like, like she'll take you because she's like, okay, for, he looks powerful. He looks, he, he look cute. He look like he's into himself. You give her five months with, with you. You're fucked. Give her five months. Just, just you and her, just, you know, not saying like you don't got friends no more and stuff, but say you take her in y'all white, yeah, she wifed up. Y'all start talking more, you know, you're, her her energy is around you a lot. Your energy is around her a lot. Again, bro, pr priorities. You guys got to master like, man, if I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym. I don't give a fuck how good these freaking women spandex look, man. I don't care. It ain't that the fact that I'm on some like, man, like I can't touch it type shit or I can't do it. But it's like, I'm going to master attraction. Mm. And true attraction, right? True attraction is not what people are selling nowadays, right? Too many guys are thinking like, oh, I got to, I got to, I got to, uh, I got to, uh, it ain't even about making them chase me either. Like, like that's what it's going to seem like, but it ain't even about that. It's about honestly saying like, man, I'm at the gym. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Like, you could be a 10. You could look like the girl like of my dreams. I used to like Hillary Banks. You could look like this. You could look like that. You can look like Stacy Dash. You know, you understand what I'm saying? But it's like, if I don't acknowledge the evil nature that women possess, then it'd be kind of criminal on myself. Like it is like a form of suicide. Cause it's like, don't even try to go into the dating game if you don't acknowledge what you're dating. You dig what I'm saying? Like when you're a kid, you don't gotta acknowledge what you're dating. It's nothing to acknowledge because, I mean, there's definitely something to acknowledge even at that age. They're doing the same thing because it's a passed down behavioral thing. It's a passed down behavioral thing. They possess the ability to finesse. That's what women possess. They move a certain type of way and they're, they're all different. Some are healthy, some are broken. But I'm talking like widespread what you get from these attention-seeking women is kind of criminal. You know what I'm saying? And it's not really righteous because, you know, like I said yesterday, a lot of people come from broken families and one-parent families, and that make women believe that they really deserve all of that attention and access to their sons and fatherless sons. They don't really have the defense to stop that shit. Like, they don't have... You can't tell your mom to get the fuck out my room and shut the fuck up. Like, you can't tell your mom some shit that a man would really tell a woman. Like, <clears throat> so they damn near rape you for all your attention until you like 30, 40. And by that time, they already kind of like made you so soft and, and weak that you don't even, you still won't boss up on their ass. And, and that's what I'm saying. So if you're raised by that type of goblin, and then you start trying to talk to women, 
what women will figure out is like, okay, it, there's a there's a way in. There's a way to finesse this guy. And again, it, it starts in the childhood, for real, for real. It starts in the childhood. So like, again, women aren't wrong for um, making them little gestures, like bending over and stuff when you first see them, because that's just what it is. But it's it's on it's our responsibility, fellas, to not fall into the pothole. Don't fall into the pothole. Every a lot of stuff they do is to get your attention. And how could she be so sure that she deserves it, right? How do you so sure you deserve my attention? It's almost like a backhanded compliment. Like you're showing me that ass, but really if I if I bite the gold, you gonna know that I'm a sucker. So it's like it's like why does it even matter? And they're leading to start off the interaction. They're leading. They're leading if you bite the if you try to see what's up because they showed that ass. They're leading with their looks. You know they say men be leading with their wallet. Women be leading with their looks. Are you gonna go for looks though? That's why I say you can't be the king if if you actually care that you know about anything because. Anything is anything. Like uh, Lauren Hill said, everything is everything. I'm supposed to be everything. She's anything. Okay, you look good on the outside, but like the inside, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And again, like if I feel like you got a boyfriend or anything, you don't even got to tell me if I feel like you got a boyfriend. I'm probably not really going to fuck with you, man. Like, I'm really not even going to really do that. Like, I'm not into all of that home wrecking shit, man. Because it's like, bro, remember one thing. I'm a king. So if you really want me, bro, if you really want me, cut off cut off all them niggas and just come over here. Cut off all them guys and just come over here. Like, we don't got to do all this guessing and, and act like it's 1992 where guys had to really try to pursue and take you from your guy and all that stuff. I'm not taking you from your guy. I'm not taking you from your guy. Because what does that say? Look, look, I'm always looking for the meaning behind the thing I'm saying. So I don't make y'all feel like I'm crazy. I want y'all to pay attention to the subtext, right? The subtext. Guy tries to take girl from other guy. Subtext. I don't got enough women to, to bypass certain ones. Other subtext. Subtext number two. I'm willing to die over that pussy. Subtext number three. I'm thirsty. Subtext four, I'm not egotistical and into myself. Sub number four or five, I forgot which one I'm on. I've never been clouded up and had so many women that I can just sit back and let them come. Because, because again, it's like a snowball effect. When you have game, it's a snowball. You don't have to. You you okay? The whole th the whole thing that shows whether you got game or not is when you can do less and get more. Everybody who became good at something can do less and get more. YouTubers that are really good at YouTube can do four, two minute videos, three minute videos. <sighs> Mad people appear like, 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 comment, 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 comment. Where you been at, bro? I'm so happy you post that. When you're good at something or mastered something, you supposed to do less. Meaning she's going to cut that guy off just because she know what time it is. But if they don't know what time it is, then that's where the problem is. And if they don't know what time it is, that don't mean try harder. It don't mean try harder. If they don't see your value, then they don't see your value. That's that's what it is. They don't see your value. I'm not saying that women should be pursuers, bro. That's not what I'm saying. Because I know it could, it could look that way, too. I'm not saying that. Because, no, we're still men. We still got to We still got to go after the opposite sex. It don't got to be specifically that one. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to move on and talk to, to, to the next woman. The next woman. Any woman who tell me they got a boyfriend, I typically fall back. That's my law. Yeah. That's my law to myself. Like, I fall back. Yeah. I don't just fall back. I let them know, like, you know, like, that's not what, you know, that's not going to happen. Yeah. But, like... Again, like I be I be hearing people upstairs and it be guy voices too with her voice. So like again, if that's the same girl, so it's like 
listen, man, I'm really not even really trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really on that. You feel me? Like, a lot of guys be on that. They be on that um, side side guy thing. And it's like, I, I'm on that, like, with a chick that live in a couple, like, probably, like, uh, town over or something like that. But not, not, not near my crib, you know, not near the home because it's like, it's too much. And that's why I can't be chasing women just because they look good. Because it's like, okay, they, they fooling y'all. They fooling y'all. They putting on all this makeup, booty shorts, all this shit. And they got a boyfriend, but they don't really like their boyfriend. And then what they doing is they making it to where it's like, when you try to smash, it's like, you lose all your value in their eyes, unpronounced to you, like, They'll make you feel like you, okay, you did the right thing by fucking me. Oh, excuse me. By smashing me. But unpronounced to you, they know like you're not really that guy. Cause that guy really, really wouldn't even do it. The prince, the prince or the king wouldn't do it. Like, we talk about being a king, but to, to talk about it and to stand on it is totally different. Like, yeah, y'all probably be thinking, I'm just talking when I say that I'm a king. I'm telling y'all. It's the behavioral differences that show the woman what's going on. Like, uh, I just know why not to do that. Because it's not happening. Now, if I see her ass again, I don't know. I might say hi. I don't know. But I'm not, like, I'm, bro, I'm on a different wave, bro. It's 2024. We're grinding. Shout out to True Cam. Cause True Cam been talking that shit. Cause he been talking about how guys that be on a purpose, those are the niggas who get all the women. And it kind of resonated with me like, damn, you know, I've been good looking since birth, but you know, and I used to did have a purpose was play basketball. And I did realize a lot of those cheerleaders that was on, you know, a lot of them cheerleaders used to be on me. You know what I'm saying? Like they used to really be like wilding. Like when I used to walk out the, I used to walk out the gym after practice or after something. And them girls used to be jumping around. Oh, my God, going crazy. But it's the man, but it's the mission, too. It's the man with the mission. Like, 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 y'all don't realize, bro. Women be having celebrity crushes, but they, 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 they would never be celebrities. Like, they should, they would never be that woman crush. That like even if they thought the guy was cute, they still wouldn't really, like, you would never know. Like it's the fact that the guy is popular and has a mission that makes the thing make sense. Cause he has he's has abundance of women. He has abundance of options. He has and again, you lose that image to the women. Not just because you approach them, but no, kinda even that. Like I ain't even gonna lie. It really it really be that. Like it's it's like it's funny how game work because the more of it you have, like I said, the less you're gonna even do it because you're gonna be like only certain women I'm doing that to, like the ones that I really want, or maybe, you know, sometimes it'd be women that's not really that five, but you still going to do it. Cause it's like, okay, I'll put her on the roster. I'll throw her here, 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 position, position her over here. But it's like, it's more about reliability than it is ever going to be about looks like, and that's what make it so fun. Cause it's like, now, I, now the, the, the tables turn because where when we was in high school, you wanted that that popular girl that you couldn't get, right? Because every other popular guy was trying to chase her. But, like, if you thought like this in high school, you'll be that one guy who could make her submit where everybody be like, damn. Like, he not even really popular like this guy, but he still got control over this shit for real. And they boil down to, like, what? Self-esteem. Like, bro, like, real talk. Like. Self-esteem, putting yourself first. Like, putting yourself first, bro. I looked over there. I seen Shorty bending over, and she looked it good. But something inside me was like, bro, just keep walking. And you be seeing, you be hearing, you know, you be hearing her with guys already. Just keep walking, bro. Go do what you got to do today. And I mean, I never get that. You feel me? And I'm and and it it shouldn't it shouldn't even like really matter for real, like. Like, self-love is different, bro. It's like, 
It's, it's being okay with life as it is. Because women need to know that if they ever mess up, you're going to go back to homeostasis. You're going to go back to balance. Because remember, they're the chaos. Their femininity is chaos. Masculinity is order. So when they come in, they're complaining. They're whining. They're gossiping. They're bringing things in that are actually anti. So when you... They need to know when I leave him, he's going back to being a god. He's not going to sit there or go or decline. He's going up because he was already on his pathway when we met. See, they be attracted when you first meet. Did y'all fellas ever notice that when y'all when y'all first meet women, they be ready to do every and anything for you. But then as time go on, they think they know a nigga. And that's when it starts to get, that's when it starts to get um, gluttonous, it starts to get, uh, starts to get ravenous, like, because they think like, you know, like, you know, like when you meet a fan, if you're famous, you meet a fan and you start hanging with a fan, they probably going to think that, okay, I'm not a fan no more. That's my bro. But it's like, you forgot that when we first met, you was just a fan, like, like, I'm not being cocky in this video. I'm being, I'm illustrating how 99% of things go all the time. And because they think that y'all are close, that's feminine of them versus the masculine will remember using the intellect. They will remember that, okay, I respect, I still got to give respect. Otherwise, it's going to become like very, very uh, cationic. If that's the word, like very, very like it could become like a hate type of thing or a match or a battle or me versus you or it could become a different type of environment. But the masculine, the masculine is always aware of like, OK, let me show respect. Let me give space. Let me give a little honor. Just like me, like walking away from shorty, like our relationship could go bad or sour just because I heard you got a boy. I hear you guys upstairs with you but i'm just gonna go up and approach you how you doing what's your name da, da, da. i could i could automatically fall into like the feminine with doing that because she like okay well i got a man and then it's like <sighs> even if i be like okay, oh you got a man okay cool i respect relationships and you know how you guys try to backtrack and all that bullshit they still already wrote you off like you killed their fantasy of them saying it's a cute guy in the neighborhood type shit. And I'm just trying to show y'all how it's it's better to approach. But when you approach, you got to realize, like, make sure there's nothing thirsty about you. It can't be nothing thirsty. It got to be 100% gentleman. And that's what I really want to preach in this video. Like, even though I said a lot of stuff. I want to show guys how to go from the approach all the way to the end, which is like marriage and family, while being and maintaining being a gentleman. Like being a real masculine, traditional man. Like even though like life is different and the like life is like different, it's still like don't let them make you something you're not. You gotta leave relationships the way you came in. When they first seen you, is how they should last see you. And everything in the middle. So get your game up. Get your mouthpiece up. And this is for me too. And just know like, I'm going indirect. You will never see me, like you will never see me down. Because... When women reject y'all, they be they be thinking they better than y'all. This is my opinion. Like not all the time. Like so a lot of women, a lot of the time they reject just because it's like okay, I just I, I'm good. But with even with me saying that, I got a distaste in my mouth because it's a lie. Because even if they got a man, but they see a guy they really really want, they'll give you that Instagram. Or they give you that number. So it's like, I can't necessarily just say it's like black and white like that. Women are too emotional. 
for it to be just always black and white. They make exceptions. And I'm trying to teach guys how to be the exception. By approaching them, you bring your value way down. If they have somebody. Because you're giving them the opportunity to see something to reject you. Uh, you're giving them the opportunity to um, see you in a... Because uh, 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 women are naturally competitive. So, like, their mind is going to think that they're above you even if they're not. Because that's what they want to see. They desire to be desired. You know, they want to be that. So, it's like, if I got the chance to reject this cute guy, I'm fucking Madonna or some shit. And it's like, no, you're definitely not that. It's just that you're just thirsty to be seen as Madonna. And if you were more real, you probably would break up with the guy you're with. And I'm just being honest. So, guys, never take rejection serious because they really rejecting themselves a lot of the time. You got to realize if, if a female is traumatized because they are human, and you know that 98% of these American women have trauma. They're never really rejecting you. They're rejecting what they think about you. But everything they think is all, all wrong because when you're traumatized, you're never in the frequency you would be in in the first place if you were healthy, which would be more of an openness and a, a different, whole different person. You put a person in therapy, they become a whole different person. Why is that? It's because they're going back to balance. They're going back to health. You know, I'm not saying you're going to get every woman, but they definitely going to give you their number or conversation and something just, you know, because like y'all could end up being friends or something and something else. You know what I'm saying? You know, healthy people flirt. It's scientifically proven that if two people are healthy, then flirting will appear. It will happen. But um, like I said yesterday in the video about therapy, man, it's important, bro. For both, both of us, me too, everybody. Because man, we just be thinking we know shit. We be we be guessing and assuming, and it make an ass out of you and me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, like I hope y'all y'all see where I'm coming from in this video. But like, I'm not making this video to big up guys and belittle women. But God did say the order. And if you don't want to go off of what God said, because a lot of y'all women be hypocrites talking about, oh, you believe in God, but then you believe in fem feminist, fem the feminist movement or some shit like that. I'm pronounced to us, you know, I'm pronounced to us. And um, how can you believe in both? Can someone comment down below? And if you do believe in both and you make it make sense, then I, I'm happy for you. And if at the end of the day, if that's the case, what is a feminist? A woman that loves women? That think women should be better than guys? I guess. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Be, be you. Be you. But at the end of the day, if I'm dating a feminist, please let me know that you're a feminist. Because then it's like, okay, shit. Well, I see why. You know, you don't want to submit. I see why you don't want to listen. I see why. Instead of me thinking there's something I'm doing and it's nothing that I'm doing, it's just you carrying that, 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 that with you. You know what I'm saying? That make, that make more sense. But, um, yeah, a lot of that's going on nowadays. Uh, like I said, these women are so close nowadays that I think that's even a little bit like kind of like funny business because it's like. The way society raises it is like, okay, the woman will probably give you her number if she was by herself, but and she in front of her friend. Like I said, like then it's like, okay, you go on, you go. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird, bro. It's a lot of stuff that I couldn't go into detail about, but I don't want to ramble like I did yesterday. We're already an hour in, so I'm gonna end this video on that note. But just know, man, like, don't beat yourself up over what you didn't do, like. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. it. Even if it was fear or doubt or anything or uh, second guessing or anything, anything like that. Because for me, like a lot of time, if I don't approach, it's probably because I haven't been outside in a while. And, I, and I'm feeling like a, what you call it, uh, um, a fish out of water. 
And if I feel like a fish out of water, even if I see Tyra Banks or the baddest chick I could possibly like, if I see 100% my type, you're my type 100%, I'm still probably going to be like, damn, like, I don't, I don't know. Because I'm, 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 I'm already headed somewhere and I already feel funny in the first place. Like, I, I just woke up from a nap and it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, we don't always feel feel like it, bro. Like, just, you know, like, that's I'm trying to get, get y'all to realize, bro. It's not healthy to push yourself to do something that you don't feel like doing. It's just not even, it's not even really like, come on, bro. Live life on life's terms. Like, like be realistic. Like, if you have something in your head that pop up and say, you should have did this and you should have did that. Like, bro, that's very unhealthy, bro. It's bullying you. Because you shouldn't, it's not even always true, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even always got to be true. But don't let that you, don't let you not acting on something become a pattern. That's when you're fucking up, in my opinion. Like, when you let you not approaching a woman you see that could be on your roster and you and you don't approach her and you don't approach the next one and the next one, <clears throat> that's when you know you're slipping into a form of bitch assness. A case, uh, you got a mild case of bitch assness. You feel me? That's what I'm just trying to say. But I'm about to end this video, man. Shout out to True Cam because I like his videos. And he got me thinking in a different perspective. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, women like guys who got motion, right? So, you know, they want to see you grinding. They want to see you on your purpose. They like, they, they actually hate the thing they like about you. They like the fact that they can't get none of your attention and time at first. But then if you give it to them, they think they deserve it. So then well, now you got to keep up that lie because they really don't deserve it. They only deserve it as much as the logical mind is dulling it out. Not the, okay, I'm going to give it to her because she feel like that she's my girl now and I got to give it to her. No, be the master, be the head of the household. Even if y'all don't live in the same household yet, be the supplier be like a, a, a like a, like if they, like a, if kids want ice cream and i'm doling out the ice cream i'm doling out the ice cream at a certain measurement i'm giving everybody a certain measurement i'm not gonna give the kid who's gonna get jealous or mad more because no everybody get this amount because i'm being logical and understanding the laws so like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm gonna see you on the next video. If this anything in this video resonated with anybody, let me know. And I'm gonna see you on the next video. I'm out.